Reading the comments, a lot of you guys have been asking to see a full day of training, so here it is. Get it. Back here at Peak 360 once again. Nice training day today. The AM session is primarily a skill focused session, working on some different gymnastics, positional things. A little bit of weightlifting in the middle, um, some GHG sit ups, trying to get my winter bod on. Yeah, just a, a relatively low key morning. Lately, I've been doing a bunch of little warm up workouts. So, just a little something once I get in the gym to get going. A simple EMOM, relatively lightweight, but just random movements that you don't normally do in a, a workout workout that are fun to kind of play around with and then also get your heart rate up, get your breathing, get you sweating, and just get you moving right off the bat. They're primarily gonna be on my Instagram story, so check those out. So today is a pretty low key day training wise regarding intensity. Everything's at a slower pace where you're doing a set of something, walking to the next movement, kind of big superset stuff where it's not necessarily for time. Yesterday was a pretty high intensity day where I had a Metcon, it was a 12 minute AMRAP. So that was a breather, got my heart rate up, got my grip burning, had some high intensity sprints at the end on the assault bike and the rower. And so today is kind of the, the opposite of that. It's, some weightlifting, a little bit more focused, a little bit slower paced. Um, this evening I'm supposed to do some monostructural work. I'm supposed to be running, but my toe is pretty banged up from a little football game over the weekend, so might switch the running up for rowing. But again, today's a, a bit of a lower intensity day. No, we saw a rumor that if CrossFit doesn't work out for you, you're gonna join Cirque du Soleil. I've been talking to a guy. I had a dream about the circus once. I also had a dream that LeBron and I were talking about me going into the NBA, and I woke up and I legitimately wondered if it was possible. And I asked around and most people said no. You know, what do you think? If I trained full time to be in the NBA, you think I could ever get drafted? This is why I love him so much. He actually probably believes somewhere deep down inside. I think there's a 0.005% chance that I could do it. And you can get drafted? Yes. Drafted? Yes. 0 0.005. What would it take? Everything I've got. How many sessions per day and how much time per session is like the average? Yeah. Depends on the time of year. Right now, post games, it's been two a days, about two hours per session. Prior to the games, I was doing almost five a days, where it was an hour and a half to two hours per session then. So it was just a lot more volume, a lot higher intensity. And right now, while I'm not peaking necessarily for any particular competition, it's a, a little bit more of like a recovery and rebuilding phase of my training. Cool. Okay, power clean, supinated weighted pull-ups, GHD sit-ups, and single arm handstand hold on the para legs. Let's get it. How's the lats feeling? Not too bad. 
getting that front rack opened up. Make sure I can receive in a good position. Yeah. Do the last set the way I'm supposed to, like keep the bar right at my hip, and just focus on good position. I think after for fun, I might add a little bit of weight and give myself some momentum just to get a little confidence boost. Lifting 225 is, doesn't feel like much these days. is real. Oh, fuck. Got nothing to say about that. Burnt out. Do you do extra stuff like that? I think on a, an easier day like today where I'm not dead, you know, where I have a little bit of energy in the tank, I find little pieces to add in here and there, which is silly because sometimes if I ask my coach for the 
the back off or the easier sessions when I finally get them I'm like it wasn't enough I think sometimes it's good to have a little extra in the tank versus emptying it all the way out and just being destroyed like how much of your input goes into your training plan for the most part throughout all of almost the last two seasons very little of my input is utilized to create my structure I think that usually Max just gives me the plan, I go at it, I'll kind of let him know how I'm feeling. We kind of figured out last year that anywhere from a good three to five week block would be enough for me usually to, to get good training in and then toward the end of the three to five weeks I would start to kind of wake up feeling a little low energy, a little less motivated and we would take like a deload week and then start that little cycle all over again. But right now, to be honest with all the viewers, I'm uh, in a little bit of a, a weird kind of, I, I don't know if I would call it a funk per se, but I think that with all of the changes going on in the season, not knowing what that looks like right now, having gone all in last year in an effort to try to podium at the CrossFit Games and still not having reached my goal, I feel a little, a little bit deterred and I'm trying not to let that overwhelm me, so I kind of let Max know, hey, all the, the really hard training right now is a lot for me when I kind of am feeling like I don't know exactly what I'm training for. Last year it was really easy for me to say, all right, I'm training to get on the podium at the CrossFit Games, let's go, like, train hard. Oh, you're tired? It's fine. You have to train really hard because you want to get on the podium. And I still do want to get on the podium, but it's not right now as much of like my laser focused goal in the moment. So it's a little bit harder for me to, when I am suffering and having a hard time training, find something to lock in on and be like, all right, this is gonna set me straight. So we did decide to pull it back a little bit and my input was weighed heavily into my training design. And I wouldn't say it's easier training right now by any means, but I'm just trying to do some more stuff that I enjoy to get back in the groove and to find what's gonna motivate me to really dig in for this season. I was deciding on whether or not I wanted to share that with the world, but there it is. So do you find yourself more motivated when you have like that singular like date or like, like more structured in the horizon? I think so, yeah. When you're working towards something in particular, it makes it easy to, to grind, to suffer, because you know it's all leading to one purpose. To come in and train and just get more fit like yeah it's great and, and I think that it's a good thing and it feels good to do it but sometimes I'm almost like why what's the purpose of this fitness you know am I gonna what am I gonna utilize that fitness for all those hours that I'm putting in the gym gonna be worth it am I gonna be able to put them towards something and when you don't have that one thing where you're like oh yeah this is exactly why I'm doing it and what I'm working toward it makes it a little bit harder to wake up and get going so like in this period right now, what helps you get through the harder workouts? I don't know. I, I think I've gotten good at just knowing like when a workout's hard that I have to grind through it. So just when I get into that point, I'm good at just like closing my eyes and going for it. And sometimes it'll be like, I'll have the thoughts in my mind like, oh, this sucks. Why am I doing this? But I'm still doing it. So it's not like I'm, I'm stopping doing it at all. It's just harder to do it. For the people watching that get into that mindset sometimes, they want to give See, up for like, they're not sure why they're working out and why they, why would they go to class on a Friday, they're tired, what, yeah. what helps? It's tough, totally. I think that there were a couple of days last week when I, I couldn't find, I woke up and I was like, what am I training for? Am I training for one of these sanctioned events? Am I training for the Open? Am I training for the games? and I couldn't really place one of those, and so I just said, all right, you know what, today I'm just training to get better. It was a very gymnastics grip heavy day, and I was like, I'm just gonna go in there, and I'm gonna get better at pulling. I'm gonna improve my grip strength, I'm gonna focus on the skill of my pull-ups and my rhythm, and I'm gonna get better at that. So I think maybe if you don't have that major, ultimate, big, scary goal, then you can just pick these small micro goals and work toward those day by day. So my PM session was supposed to be four miles of running. Kind of busted my toe playing some football on the beach last weekend. So I'm switching it up for 8K of rowing. 
It's gonna alternate between a relatively conservative 1K row pace into a moderate effort 1K. So I'll start at two minute per 500 pace for the first 1K, and then I'll drop that down to a 145 per 500 pace for the second 1K, which is gonna be a 330 in total, so cutting 30 seconds off the first one. And I'll just bounce back and forth, four minute 1K, 331K, four minute 1K, 331K, for four total sets without resting in between. That was tough. That's just a lot of rowing. The slower pace actually was a little harder to hold because when you finish the hard one, you really want to rest, but two minute per, per 500 pace is still semi-fast. The adjustment of coming back to peak and training on my own has been a little tougher than I expected it to. And it's been, it's made it hard to find the motivation to get up and get in the gym and get after it every day. When you have somebody in the gym with you, training and competing with the shared goal of competing at the CrossFit Games just elevates the level of training for both parties. Calling all CrossFit Games athletes, if you are interested in living in Miami, Florida, training at Peak 360 with me every single day, the doors are wide open, would love to have you guys down here. What don't you have down here in Miami? We've got the bright shining sun, beaches, cool artistic areas like Wynwood, Peak 360. We're getting pretty deep into the winter months. It's mid-November and I'm hanging out in a tank top and I'm actually sweating. Max and I are a tag team. You've got me to push you in your training and you've got Max to help you recover after a tough workout with his magical kisses. Swimming in the ocean, paddleboarding in the ocean, kayaking, running trails, mountain biking trails, skydiving, bungee jumping, balloon animal blowing, like we've got it all. Honestly, I can't really think of anything else that you would need in training for the CrossFit Games. Well, thank you guys for joining me for a full day of training. Hope you enjoyed it. Feel free to like and subscribe and leave a comment with stuff that you guys want to see in the future.